As part of the um, air cooling is the oil cooler. So I need to cut a hole here and duct to an air cooler. And on the other side here, which I've got off already, is going to be part of your carb heat, which will eventually go down into here. So from here, like that, I've got to create a hole for the ducting. Um, and I'm gonna do this. Obviously I've done it before, so I just figured I'd go through the process what I do. Now I cheat like crazy on this because it's secondary structure, not primary. I'll show you. All right, so this is the other side and I've already got the hole cut out and that's where it's gonna go. And this is this is my former here, okay? Um, normally you end up with a backing plate here to support it all and all of that sort of stuff, but we're not gonna do that today. We're just gonna bash it. So I've already pre-cut this hole. So obviously that's the outside of the hole and this is the flange. Um, polish the snot out of this so there's no nicks or scratches in there because it's it's going to take a lot of stretching in here. Um, I'm going to anneal this material as well. Now I could beforehand I've actually um, started to form this and then annealed it once or twice as I've gone through. I'm going to soften it up to start with and then we'll start forming and then as it hardens again we'll go and we'll anneal it again this is um, 5005 material so it's like a marine grade but it's sort of um it can be welded and all that so it's still very soft it's not aircraft grade that's why i say it's only this is this process is only good for secondary structure um because mainly because once you heat treat it and anneal it you can't determine for sure whether it's gone back to its original temper so um, you can't prove um, how strong it is at the end. You can just guess. So I only do this for secondary structure. So engine baffles, ab absolutely secondary structure. It doesn't really matter if it cracks. You're not going to crash and burn. So I cheat. Well, the simplest way I go about it is I get sunlight soap. Basically, it's the cheapest soap you can come across, not the exotic stuff. So go to the cheapest store you can find and, f and get the cheapest soap. And um, I just rub all over where I'm going to heat treat because then when I um, use my burner, it'll go black. And then, um, and then you'll know you've got the temperature up enough. And then I'll quench it in water. Other guys use oxyacetylene. So they use um, like a black sooty flame and coat the whole piece in black soot and then um, change the flame out and burn the black off. Same thing, it, it, it anneals the material that way. So um, that's enough there, and we'll get the gas going. All right, a little bit of heat. That'll do. Okay, that's been um, quenched and cleaned up. Now we can put it on our former and start bashing. I'll start with this hammer just to get the um, the outside started and formed, but then it's the radius is too big to actually get right into the nitty gritty. So I'll quickly swap that out for probably this one, even though, geez, it's a cute little hammer, isn't it? I found this the other oh, few months back and um, it's very light. So um, the trouble with that is it work hardens quicker for the amount of form work you get out of it, but it doesn't bruise the metal like the ball peen, even though, even though this has got a bit more weight behind it and every blow moves more metal. It's sort of, sort of a catch-22 because um, this stuff, every time you hit it, it work hardens. So more hitting, it work hardens quicker, then you have to anneal it or the risk of splitting. Um, so you don't want to spend ages tapping that. You want the, you want the metal to move. So it's a sort of a catch 22 between these two. So we'll see how we go. It's coming along nicely. So um, that's as far as I can go with um, that bigger hammer, unless I stand it up, I might try that actually. But anyway, I think I might anneal that again 
just to keep the metal soft. You can, I don't know if you can see there, the that edge is still looking pretty good. Oop, focus on that. Um, but we've got to keep a very close eye on any little nicks and scratches on that because it'll just split it. But um, we're starting, hey? It's coming along nicely. I'll give it another anneal and um, we'll keep going. We'll keep using that hammer too. That's coming along nice. It's got a, just enough weight behind it to push it around a bit better. Um, but yeah, it has to be over the edge because then I can get a different angle on with the, ha with the hammer. But that looks good. not bad at all hey yeah so you don't need anything special to do this sort of stuff now remember this is secondary structure this is not primary structure and I'd only do this for primary structure if I had a proper oven that I could heat treat properly to bring it back to its original temper um, but for an engine baffle with a hole in it just for a hose clamp perfect other little secondary pieces like your um, fairings and, and panels and stuff like that. Absolutely, that's all fair game to do this. Um, yeah, so you don't need any special stuff. Just patience. And that's the other one. So we're done now. I love bashing metal. It's so cool. Look at that. Isn't that fun? <sighs> now I can do the final assembly. So I'll start painting it and um, put it all back together properly. <laughs> 